Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Adriana. This channel is dedicated to fragrances. Today I decided to make a video about the top 10 fragrances that I am absolutely in love this autumn. Uh, I have been wearing them, uh, some more than the others, so I decided to make from um, the least favorite, that's uh, the 10th uh, fragrance, to the first fragrance, which is uh, the favorite. So it's a decrease uh, order, but actually I love them all. I love the 10 of them. So the first that I, the first one I'd like to talk about is this one. That's uh, from Dior and uh, Hypnotic Poison. Uh, this is the Eau de Toilette, 30 uh, milliliters. So this one, uh, I'm not gonna spray on me. I'm just gonna smell and uh, tell you the vibe and uh, some notes maybe. Uh, well, this is my Amaretto uh, Marzipan type of fragrance. It's very almondy, very creamy. Uh, it has coconut, plum, apricot, uh, some flowers, uh, which I don't remember. I think some white flowers and rose. Uh, also, of course, vanilla, almond and uh, sandalwood. This is the perfect creamy, cozy, amaretto um, type of marzipan type of uh, fragrance. I uh, really like this one. Uh, the number nine on my list, it's this one. It's uh, Carolina Herrera, a very good girl, the red shoe. This is an eau de toilette. Uh, I think this is a 50 ml, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see the box. Uh, yes. Uh, this is a 50 ml, um, so I'm going to sense the scent. So oh, this is, uh, I love this one. This is the dupe for Delina. Uh, very, very uh, close to Delina. Uh, Delina exclusive, actually, because it's creamy and sweet. This is the sweet uh, lychee rose with vetiver. Very, very well made. I love wearing this one uh, in the evening. This is really beautiful. It's I think it's a very sexy, creamy, uh, yeah, type of fragrance. Uh, Carolina Herrera, very good girl. Uh, yes. Now number eight on my list is this one. It is Miss Dior, absolutely blooming. This is a very big bottle. Uh, this is a one hundred ml. Mm, this is very incense I think. There is no incense on this uh, perfume, but actually um, it gives me some um, vibe from La Nuit Tresor, uh, the, the original La Nuit Tresor, that has incense. Uh, they are very different uh, fragrances, but uh, there is something here, maybe it's the pink pepper, that gives me this incense vibe, which I love. And this is very, extremely feminine, very cozy, perfect to be wear, to be worn in the autumn. Mm, this is like berries with the rose peony, the pink pepper it has as well. Very long lasting, very feminine. I love wearing this one. This can be worn uh, at any time of the day for any occasion. Love this one. Well, number eight. Now I'm going to number seven. Number seven is this one from Jean-Paul Gaultier La Belle. Yeah, I'm not gonna take this color off. I can smell here from the cap. So this this one is is the juicy pear with a lot of vanilla, very sexy, very original. It has vetiver as well. Mm, I love this one. Very vanillic pear vetiver in a perfect balance. Mm, very long lasting, very very good perfume. I like this a lot. So number six on my list is this one. That's the, the only one intense from Dolce & Gabbana. This perfume is beautiful. Mm. Ah, it's, it's all about the jasmine. So it has also coconut, you can sense. It's a white flower. Um, so I think it has neroli, uh, jasmine and orange blossom. 
some citrus fruit with the coconut uh, of course vanilla but it's also very woody oh it's it's lovely uh, this can be worn uh, as well at any time of the day for any occasion it's a very very sexy beautiful beautiful long lasting perfume so and uh, number five is my bonbon from uh, victor and rove and uh, this is also a big bottle it has 100 ml mm, this is the perfect caramel it's uh, some citrus fruits with caramel and also has jasmine orange blossom these two white flowers that i like a lot amber also sandalwood very feminine the only complaint that i have of this one is that it doesn't last uh, too much uh, the longevity is about uh, five hours max then you have to reapply so that's my only complaint because the the, the, the fragrance itself it's amazing amazing love it okay now i'm going to my number four it's mongelan intense Oh, this one, this is a 30 ml. Mm, this one is so aromatic. It's, uh, it has, it, it opens uh, with the citrus notes, the citrus fruits, uh, quite a lot of citrus with vanilla, licorice, and uh, it has also the, the chocolate vibes, a lot of chocolate vibes on the, the dry down on my skin. Oh, this is a very cozy, beautiful scent, um, long lasting. Uh, and I, yeah, I love, I love this one. Love Munger Light Intense. So it's on the third, uh, no, on the fourth place. <laughs> now on the third place, it's another Munger Light, that's the original. So this is a 30 ml of the Parfum. Mm, and got on my third, uh, third place on my list. Oh, this is very aromatic um, it's sweet woody powdery uh, it has lavender vanilla and uh, this one gives me some white chocolate vibe on the dry down it doesn't last a lot on my skin uh, the original uh, it lasts for about max five hours like bonbon bon from uh, victor and rove they last five hours uh, but the Mongerlan Intense, uh, which was on the fourth place, this is on the third, this uh, has uh, more of a longevity. It stays on my skin at least eight hours, but this uh, three hours. This gives me also chocolate vibes, um, but it's more like um, milk chocolate vibe. And this is white chocolate vibe. So I love the chocolate, as you can see. Uh, yeah, that's why I love these perfumes. And also because they are... Uh, like lavender vanilla which uh, they have like a calming effect on you and um, very cozy calming uh, beautiful elegant scent i love them on the second place i have libre uh, from Yves Saint Laurent. that's a 30 ml this is the le parfum libre le parfum that was launched this year mm, uh, this one is uh, warm spicy it has ginger it has honey it's aromatic it's an amber floral uh, type of uh, fragrance uh, but very like spicy it has saffron ginger honey vetiver bourbon vanilla which is a little boozy it has uh, lavender and uh, orange blossom citrus fruits uh, very long lasting uh, i love this perfume uh, it's a compliment getter this is um, a gem so on my second place libre le parfum and on my first place it is l'interdit rouge eau de parfum from givenchy or givenchy oh Yes, this one is my absolute top favorite. Mm, it's It was a love at first sniff for me. This is warm, very spicy, 
woody oriental creamy chocolatey it doesn't have chocolate on this perfume but on the drying down it turns into dark chocolate creamy on my skin with some clove cinnamon ginger uh, smell very sexy i love this one i love 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 it has ginger blood orange uh, that is the sweet citrus and also tuberose linker deep line they have their the, the signature note is tuberose that is a white flower I don't like tuberose, I don't like the original L'Interdit, I don't like the Intense, I don't like the other Toilette L'Interdit, but the Rouge, this tuberose is not bubblegummy, it is, oh, it is perfect, it's oh, the perfect balance, it's a little toned down, I mean a lot toned down tuberose, it's a very light tuberose with a lot of ginger, and the jasmine that I love, and also pimento leaf. This, the secret of this um, perfume, this fragrance is the pimento leaf, because the pimento leaf has a smell of clove, you know, cloves that you use a spice that looks like a little, it's a little flower, but it's very hard and it's uh, brown, dark brown. That's the smell the of pimento leaf so it gives me this uh, a lot of uh, clove with cinnamon and uh, ginger with the jasmine with sandalwood patchouli and the, the vetiver i like vetiver when it's a little bit the, the the other vetiver is this one has vetiver the carolina herrera um, vetiver with rose and the other one vetiver is this one uh, La Belle. So vetiver in perfumes, in uh, women perfumes, uh, when used uh, wisely, like not uh, a lot, so gives this greenness and earthiness in the perfume. That That is the, the, the beauty of the perfume, you know, makes it so well balanced. This is very, very long lasting. Uh, about 12 hours on my skin on clothes is like 24 hours and uh it's it's beautiful leaves the trail you know beautiful like this one gives the leaves the trail the le parfum i mean i think all of them uh, uh, the, the bonbon doesn't leave a lot of trail but the others uh, and, and neither this one neither the mongerla but and neither the the hypnotic poison doesn't leave a lot of trail but the other ones that i have here they leave a beautiful trail and that's uh, that's nice <laughs> in, in the autumn so as you pass by everybody will sense your scent uh, but not aggressively all of them is like um, leaves a perfect trail you know the, the one that people smell you and then it fades away and uh, you leave your mark in a way <laughs> so Oh, I love this one. Oh, so I'm gonna spray on me. Two sprays. The sprayer is is uh, great. It uh, spreads the the juice of the perfume evenly. Mm. Oh, I love it. So these are the my top ten uh, autumn fragrances. Uh, what are yours? Uh, so just let me know in the comment below. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell button so you can follow me on my future reviews. Thank you for today and have a great time as always. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.